Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Every time I show a polymer frame, striker fire, 9mm handgun, someone says, Oh great, more of the same. Nothing new, nothing innovative, nothing exciting, just more of the same. Just regurgitating the same gun over and over with a different brand. And in many cases, I agree. What I'm showing you here is something new. It's something different. Do you recognize that logo? If you do, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. About three or four years ago, I showed you and reviewed the FK Berno PSD, full size. This gun offers more flexibility than any I own. It, it is optic ready. It has a 5.3 inch barrel and it fires four different rounds. Crazy. The primary round that it fires is 7.5 FK. And here it is. It's a bottleneck round. It's it's a great round. It's, it's like a rifle round. It can really move. And this is a 101 grain. We'll take a look at the specs here. The energy is out of a 6 inch barrel. 1950 feet per second. 850 foot pounds of energy. 101 grain F9 flat nose. There it is. Okay. Heavy duty round. But what else could shoot this round and have the flexibility of the full size well there is the manual very cool manual a lot of pictures when i was a kid i liked to read books with pictures because i don't have much of an imagination i'd rather see something visual well, how about this for a visual this is a fk Berno psdc for compact now once you see what this has you'll be more interested than I think the full size, because this is pretty heavy, pretty cumbersome. This is approximately eight ounces lighter. It's much smaller. It's got a four and a quarter inch barrel. It has that Hudson or that Daniel Defense big four end there. I'm going to show that. That will decrease recoil substantially. It is suited with two 14 round mags that... Is also a 10 round mag. Well, how can a 14 round mag be a 10 round mag? Well, it ships with a 10 millimeter barrel. And all you do is swap it out and use the same mags. So it ships with two 14 round mags. It's a single action hammer fire handgun that is super cool. And it fires four different rounds. Now, the FK. 7.5 FK round that I just showed you, all right, right here, and then the 10 millimeter, then 40 Smith & Wesson in the same mag, and then 9 millimeter, which I have the barrel in the full size, but I don't have the barrel in this one. I suppose it would work, but I'm not interested in firing 9 millimeter through this anyways, but let's check this out. It has great grip texturing. It's really not aggressive, all right, 14 round mags with the 7.5 fk this thing is fire it is spicy hot and then it has a four and a quarter inch barrel it's single action it's got a bull barrel there so easy to swap out very small sights but i was able to shoot it quite well now the first thing i did was load up 10 millimeter fk burno 10 millimeter And then here's a look at the recoil or lack of given this big recoil system that the FK Berno offers. Now, a lot of people say that going into bear country, 10 millimeter would be a great round. And it would. And you could shoot 10 millimeter through this. I already mentioned it. But would 14 rounds of... 7.5 FK be better. This will penetrate soft body armor. And I think I heard that steel target behind it, but we're going to take a closer look. And the FK burner with the 7.5 FK round right there, and we turned the vest around and we could see 
it went right through it. <laughs> yeah, like it really went through it. All right, I had 7.5 FK loaded up. That little orange target down there is what we're shooting at because it is rated to handle this heavy load. The recoil is not bad at all. Well, let's see if I can hit this thing. Hundred and one grain, seven point five FK. Check out the lack of recoil. Pretty awesome and impressive. Hitting that same target. Recoil's not bad at all. So what decreases the recoil so substantially? Well, let me show you, because this is really neat. You're just going to align the marking on the slide and the frame, much like a CZ-75 handgun, and you're going to, this has to be perfectly set. Push this through on the other end if you can't do it with your hand. Typically I can, but I'll go ahead and use the bottom of that mag and then just pull out the slide stop pin. And then off comes the slide from the frame. All right, this is what does it. Check out this uncaptured recoil spring, big base on the guide rod, all steel. It has this recoil spring bushing and then the four and a quarter inch bull barrel right there. All right, that combined keeps the recoil to a minimum. And then you put this in there just like that and the recoil spring and guide rod assembly will go in as such it's important to have that lined up just like that full length frame rails and then you put the slide stop pin back in just like that right there very cool now when i shot the 7.5 fk i i loved it now i have experience with this i know a lot about this and it really is a great round bottleneck round don't even think about saying well that that just looks like 5.7 by 28 millimeter no it's not it's double the bullet weight much more faster super potent 14 rounds of it what would be better 10 millimeter 10 rounds of 10 millimeter or 14 rounds of 7.5 FK. Now I want to take a minute and talk about this company right here, Tescosa or T Tescasa, however you want to say it. They collaborated with Italian Firearms Group, and this is where it's imported from. And well, they they imported it. They, they collaborated with the machining, the the manufacturing, the service, the support. All the support comes from this company, Tescosa. Tescosa machine and tool. They produce the ammo. Italian Firearms Group imports these and they work together to get this out to people. Now, when this first launched, it was right around 1650 bucks MSRP. When this was shown at SHOT Show in 223, they said this could be upwards of $2,000. It's not. The MSRP on this is $1,495. So what you get for it is this handgun, two mags, and you have to pick up the ammo, but it fires literally, in this case, three rounds, in this case, four rounds, because I have a nine millimeter barrel, which I've not even shot. I have no intention of doing that. 40 Smith & Wesson, 10 millimeter, and 7.5 FK. That is super spicy hot as i mentioned it's optic ready set to fit a aim point acro all right or any of those variants okay and i'm just going to give a quick shot of this what it looks like very cool setup i think it's awesome it's low recoil it is super loud it is super potent and i think that anybody who gets this and wants something different you just found your next handgun. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share.
I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.